This is Bruce Jansen at the Hawaii Dermatology Seminar on sunny Maui and I'm speaking with Dr. Alan Mentor of Baylor University in Texas. Uh, Dr. Mentor, uh, you focused attention on the problem of uh, severe postpartum flares uh, of psoriasis. Uh, tell me about that, please. Bruce, I think it is an issue that is seldom discussed either by dermatologists with their patients or even by OBGYNs, but I think it is a, a significant problem in the postpartum uh, lactation period, and I think it's up to us as dermatologists to discuss this with our females who are pregnant that they have a potential to get a significant flare. And then the, the question obviously becomes what's the best therapy? Topical therapy if possible. If they're lactating we cannot use cyclosporine because cyclosporine is uh, excreted in breast milk. But we certainly can use phototherapy and other systemic agents including our biologic agents to reduce the severity of the postpartum flare. But it is an issue and it's an important issue that is neglected. And um does it arise in patients that have, you've managed to uh, maintain good control f during pregnancy? Yes, I think about two-thirds of females during pregnancy will find their psoriasis, like other immune-mediated diseases, tends to spontaneously improve. But it's the postpartum and frequently the immediate postpartum period within a few days to up to one to two weeks of delivery that they have quite significant flares and sometimes rather inflammatory flares as well. Uh, do you uh, have a preference among the biologic agents when it seems that that's called No, for? a lot will depend on what they've taken previously. Obviously, if it's a very, very inflammatory flare, then you'll probably want one of the TNF-alpha agents that have a more rapid action. But if it's a moderately severe one, then I'll choose any of, any of the above, pending their insurance and pending their weight, etc. Because a lot of biologics are not weight-based driven, and females in the postpartum period may not have lost all their weight yet. How common is uh, genital involvement of the psoriasis postpartum? We're just doing a study now on 400 patients with our European colleagues and have shown that genital involvement, not only in the postpartum or during the pregnancy period, in both males and females affects about 60%. And many people don't talk about it. So if you now have a female delivering with active psoriasis, it's very difficult. And we have to discuss it with them prior to delivery as well as with the OBGYN and use appropriate therapy. So if they're going to have a normal vaginal delivery, they do not want to have psoriasis there. Is this, a, uh, is this an issue that uh, OBGYNs are um, well informed about? No. I, in fact, I think most of us in dermatology world don't really discuss, and patients frequently don't discuss their genital psoriasis. But I'll not infrequently have a gynecologist and OBGYN call me and say, look, so-and-so is delivering in a week or two's time. I think this is psoriasis. Uh, could you treat it? So they are not well informed and they don't understand about the postpartum flare either. Well, thanks very much. Thank you very much, Bruce. From the Hawaii Dermatology Seminar.